term comes from a rather interesting guy who wrote about what it was like to live in the Soviet Union in the middle of the 1980s, when the Soviet Union was collapsing. Because there wasn't really any protest at the time. What he pointed out is that everyone knew that everything was not right. They knew that those in control had no control. They knew that those running the economy were not in control, that everything was corrupt and often completely fake because the leaders were pretending they were in control. Everybody knew this, and the leaders knew that everybody knew this, but nobody did anything about it because there was nothing else. It was normal. And he coined the phrase hypernormalization to describe this. Somehow, you knew that everything was a bit odd and a bit unreal, often fake, but because there was no other picture of the world and you were so within this system, you accepted it as normal and just went on. And what I'm trying to argue in this film is not that in any way we're like the Soviet Union, we're a very different society, but what we do share with that time is a sense among a lot of people that things are a bit odd and unreal and sometimes fake and that those in charge know that they're not in charge and they know that we know they're not in charge of things, that everything is a bit chaotic, uncertain, we distrust everyone. Charge. We also know those in charge allow a great deal of corruption to carry on without doing much about it. We know that they're not in control of the economy. They know that we know they're not in control of the economy. But at the very same time, we are so much a part of that system that we don't have any vision of an alternative. And I include by that the left. They don't have a vision of an alternative, so we accept it as normal. When you see another newspaper article coming out saying we're actually supplying arms to the Yemen to allow the Saudis to bomb Yemen, we go, yeah? That's a very good example. The reaction is the most interesting thing of our time. We sort of expected that the arms industry and the government in this country would allegedly allow arms to be supplied to this war that we know is causing horrific civilian deaths and we have no way of controlling it. We know that and we just accept it. It's normal.